In this video, I'm going to tell you about the near miss Johnson solids. First, here is a brief explanation of what actual Johnson solids are. Basically, they are just strictly convex regular phase polyhedra. Strictly means that this is not allowed. It has been proven there are only 92 of them, excluding mirror images of Carroll Johnson solids, prisms antiprisms, Archimedean solids, and the platonic solids. So, let's get to the actual topic of this video, the near miss Johnson solids. In short, they fit the definition of Johnson solids, but if you add the word almost, here are some other definitions. Near miss Johnson solids are convex polyhedra, which you can physically construct using regular polygons without noticing any problems. One could also define a near miss Johnson solid as a convex polyhedron with these properties. The ratio between its longest edge to the shortest edge is close to 1. The ratio between its n-gons interior angles and regular n-gons interior angles must be close to 1. A great way to construct some of the near misses is to inscribe an almost regular polygon into a face of some existing polyhedron. Here are some examples. Others can be formed by truncation, expansion, and other operations. Some of them were discovered when people were just randomly building a closed shape out of physical regular polygons. Now I offer you to take a look at some of them. A over B is the ratio between the longest edge length and the shortest edge length. Pi over alpha is the ratio between the least regular angon's worst interior angle and the regular angon's interior angle. The first two solids are not very symmetrical and they are not as close to being regular faced as some of the following ones. Next come the polyhedra with tetrahedral symmetry. Some of these are super close to being actual Johnson solids. The following three polyhedra are my favorite near misses. They are a type of a polyhedral family. The first one has nine gons as its largest faces. The second one features ten gons. And the last one has eleven gons. If you try to do the same design, but with dodecagons, you'll end up with a flat tiling. There are a lot of icosahedral near misses. I decided not to include Goldberg polyhedra, simply because they are an infinite family, and my videos can't be infinite.
In the previous video, I made a couple of mistakes. First of all, I pronounced the unmissily the wrong way, I'm sorry. Also, I said the polyhedra are topologically equivalent to hyperbolic tilings. This is not the case. Actually, noble polyhedra are topologically equivalent to a quotient space of those tilings. The next video will be about isogonal polyhedra, which have almost regular faces. I discovered over 20 of such solids, and I decided to name them almost uniform polyhedra.